Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for mid-May 2024. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we can dip our toes in the energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libra Collective. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going here. My guides and spirit team, talk to me about these Libras in mid-May. What's going on for my friends? energies and messages it's a very beautiful time of the year if i do say so myself but yeah we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card then we'll get into the full reading itself and at the very end i'll pull you a bonus card from the shadow land tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on which is always interesting but let's get it going here let's rock and see what we got for libra in mid-may my god spirit team what messages what energies what do we got swirling around the collective these days, right? There we go. Thank you so much. That card like almost stood up on end. Okay. So there could be something weighing on you a little bit when we have this and your, your well-being is extra highlighted with this, whether it's your physical, mental, emotional well-being. When I see this card, it reminds me of the Ten of Wands, which could be really good too. And we'll discuss that in a moment before we fully dive into it though. If you're new here, I'll be speaking about the May subscriber surprise towards the end. So you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk a little bit more about this card. So we see this individual. It's like they're bent down a little bit. They have another person literally on their back. That's why I always say this card reminds me of the ten, the ten of Wands, where someone's carrying a big weight, carrying a big burden. So I think it's very important for a lot of Libras when this card shows up front and center that you're looking after yourself. You're taking care of yourself, whether it's like physically, mentally, emotionally, materially. materially there could be something that's like really weighing on you. Okay, so whether it's weighing on your heart, weighing on your mind, um, I think your wellness is extra highlighted here. Now, this can represent physical vitality for some Libras. You, you might feel a little zapped. You might not feel as energetic as you normally do here. I always say specifically watch out for areas like the neck, back, and spine. When this card shows up, you might need a good little rub down here. But this is a card to me that represents health. The good thing I always say about this card whenever it shows up, if you are in a time where things are a little rough, or you're going through problems or anything like that, this type of energy says, you know what? This will not knock me down. This will not beat me. I will keep going. So to me, this is a card of determination and a win in the end. So this could be really good. Let's just put it down right there. We're going to get into tarot. I mean, a lot of times, uh, good special things in life, they're never easy, right? But let's see what tarot has for you. Yeah, that, I would say the first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. Let's get these three cards going. For the lovely Libras. And while we shuffle this up and get it ready to go, let's talk about last week's reading, my friends. It was titled A Surprising Change. And the big vibe I was picking up in your reading last week was that like a current situation or something you're going through could really switch and change on a dime. Whether that's like from rough to good or good to rough, I just saw a lot of movable energy in the ether around the Libra Collective. So hopefully times haven't been too tough on you. Um, we'll see what we have for you this week. As you know, energy is very fluid. It's never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you because we could be seeing your vibe or somebody else's. Let's get it going. Three cards here from my Libra friends. Gods, talk to me. What's going on for the Libras? Thank you. Wow. All right. This same card showed up in the same exact position for the Geminis as well. So this must be an air sign type of energy that's happening here this week. High Priestess, position number one. Okay, let's get a couple more and really build this out. She is a card of mystery. Okay, we do have the world here in position number two. Something's coming to a head. Something's culminating possibly, which, I mean, could be good. It really depends. Let's get one more. What do we got here for Libra? One more. Thank you. Okay, we do have the Hermit here on the back end. There is a lot of unknown, uh, unforeseen type of energy showing up in your reading this week libra and that's okay because remember we're still going to pull more detail about all of it so let's go through i'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes and we'll get into that juicy intuitive stuff but at first look first glance i already mentioned it uh there's a lot of unforeseen type of energy with the high priest someone and we have the hermit on the other end they're both cards that are kind of shrouded if that makes sense we have something coming to a head something culminating 
So we'll see how this all plays out because it doesn't necessarily have to be a challenge. The fact that they're all major arcana represents to me that these are major, major energies that could be affecting your life in a lot of different ways. So let's go through piece by piece and really start to build it out. I like the elemental mixture that we have going on, like with the earth and the water, there's possibilities here. But let's start here with the high priestess in position number one. So I always say she could represent Pisces classically. I always link her to all water signs. You might be connected to a water sign with the high priestess. She is the matron of psychics, intuitives, and tarot readers. So you might be extra spiritual in this time, whether you're studying spiritual things, practicing spiritual things. High priestess and the hermit are both highly spiritual. Now, I always mention her, she could represent a quest for knowledge. So maybe you're diving down rabbit holes. Maybe you're trying to learn as much as you can about something. Doesn't always have to just be spiritual, but she is the keeper of sacred knowledge. Another thing with this high priestess is she represents your intuition, feeling something in your gut. So your intuition might be tugging at your strings a little bit, like feeling like something is coming possibly, especially with this culmination. Another thing I always mention about her though, is she doesn't speak. The high priestess is very secretive. So to me, of course, the surprising, the unexpected, the hidden type of energy. So we'll want to see what's up with her. And that could be part of the downfall of the high priestess energy as well, is that she's not saying anything or she's not speaking. It's very quiet. So we'll see what's up with that. I mean, of course, it could be lots of different things. Hopefully this is a good positive energy coming your way. But moving to the center, we have the world. Now, the reason I said it feels like something's coming to a culmination or a buildup is whenever I see the world, it is the last of the major arcana in the tarot deck, the last one. So classically, it could represent cycles coming to a close, things ending, moving into a new cycle of being. Now, that's not always bad. Sometimes, like, you're getting out of a rough cycle and moving into a better one. So there's optimism that could be had with this card. I think of this as more of transformation than I do of endings, although it can represent endings. So there might be something, a connection, a situation you're in where... I mean, the whole dynamic of it could be in a time of flux, a time of change, okay? And we saw that for you last week, too, a surprising change. Kind of picking up similar vibes here. So for a lot of you, just know a lot of things could be switching and changing for you still in the coming weeks. Um, the world, once again, it could represent the world itself. So you might be paying attention to what's going on in the world today, the world events. It might really have your attention whenever the world card is here. But we'll want to see what this is because it is something culminating that's the best way i could put it with the way it's feeling to me now as we get that back where it needs to go we end off the main part of the spread with our good pal here the hermit virgo energy so that is one of your zodiacal neighbors there so maybe you have some placements in virgo maybe you're connected to a couple virgos when i see this i do think there might be somebody laying low so for a lot of Libras, you might just be in hermit mode, right? You might be pulling back your energy, doing your own thing, staying in hermit mode, minding your own business. This card is big when it comes to that. With all the mystery surrounding all these cards, there might be someone you're not really speaking to, or there could be something around communication that we're going to want to look at as well. There might be communication issues. But the main thing I think of with the hermit is someone literally being in hermit mode. So whether you've recently gone into that or you're going to pull yourself into hermit mode there's nothing bad with a little self-reflection because th to me this is a card of self-reflection so i feel i feel for a lot of libras whether you've experienced some of these energies in the beginning or not spirit could be asking you to reflect on how far you've come okay like you might be going through tough situations you might be okay but there's something important about doing some self-reflection and doing like a self-analysis in this time and just seeing where you've come um, or how far you've come. So I want to dive deeper on all this. Let's jump in and clarify. Okay, let's get a good shuffle here for the Libras, please. My guide spirit team, talk to me. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research. Or rely on your base knowledge of tarot, because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that high priestess. What's this mystery about or this intuition? And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Libra, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. Okay, high priestess time. Why is the high priestess in the mix? And the deck is being very specific for you, my friends, which could be really good. And for those of you that are new here, I only read jumpers. That's why I'm doing these little shuffles until the card pops out. 
Oh, okay. This could be really, really good for a lot of you. We have the Hanged Man in reverse underneath this High Priestess. This could be a breakthrough that you don't see coming here, and I really love this. Now I'm starting to get a little optimistic here, and now everything is starting to make sense from what we saw here in the very beginning. Now everything I was picking up on top. Once again, all major arcana so far, which is very rare in my style of reading because I only use six cards, seven tops if we have a bonus. But the Hanged Man is in reverse here, and I feel like that's a good place to have that Hanged Man. Now, I will say this for a portion of you, there could be a situation or something you've been keeping tabs on. Maybe someone possibly keeping tabs on you. So yeah, there's a little bit of watchy watch going on here. But this card does connect to Scorpio Virgo, more Virgo energy, Virgo traits. And this card reminds me of the Hermit, right? Because in the upright, the Hanged Man is retracted, pulled back analyzing watching now it's not the time for action now is the time to sit and wait so when i see it in reverse underneath the high priestess to me once again either it's a surprising unexpected breakthrough of some sort or somebody making a move that you don't see coming okay i do feel for a lot of you if you've been going through a problem of some sort or anything frustrating this could be like a lucky break or a breakthrough of some sort i feel very optimistic and positive about this Okay, I'm not getting huge warning signs or anything like that. Of course, I already gave you that message that there might be something you're keeping tabs on, or someone keeping tabs on you. But for the most part, I feel like, boom, just like a floodgates opening, but in a more positive way. So let's keep moving and see if we get any more detail about this. Because like with her and the Hankman reverse, it's like, I just feel something snapping into action, snapping into action. Let's go in on the, on the world. Let's see what's up with that. And I still want to get over to that hermit, too, because now if this like we might have opposing energies happening, too. So let's go in on the world. I feel for a lot of you, something could break through for you. And I like it. It's like a lucky break. So why is the world here? I mean, and I mean, it could link into what we saw last week as well, if I'm going to be straight up honest with you, where something just changes out of nowhere. Okay? So keep your eyes open for that still, even this week. And, and beyond, because I feel like for a lot of Libras, things, situations, a lot of stuff could be changing quickly. So let's see what this world has to say. Beautiful. Beautiful. So like what, what may have looked like a negative in the past turns into a beginning here. We have this Ace of Cups. I feel for a lot of you, there's a huge offer or opportunity coming in for you. I really do. The Ace of Cups in the upright is a lovely way to receive this card. And I always say with all aces, they're all opportunities and offers. When I see it underneath the world, that to me just magnifies and implies the gravity of something good that's coming into your life. And I really, really like what I'm feeling here. Now, interestingly, we have this full cycle on display where we have a card that could be an ending. We have a card that could be a, a beginning. So I feel like something that may have once felt like a negative, you're now going to see it as a positive. Or it's like, okay, well, if that didn't happen, then this wouldn't have happened. Especially if you have a lucky break of some sort coming through, which is possible for a lot of Libras. Ace of Cups could sometimes represent romance and stuff like that. I'd, I don't necessarily feel like this is a complete total ending of something. I mean, I know there's some readers that might argue with me on that. Okay, with the world and the Ace of Cups. But the main vibe I'm picking up here is like you guys have a huge or massive offer coming in here. Okay, and it kind of links in with what we saw here in the beginning. Where something, and if it's not an offer or an opportunity, something that may have seemed like a negative, your perspective will change on it. And it's like, okay, well, if this didn't happen, then I couldn't have gotten here. Where it's like, I'm actually grateful for what I went through. Let's keep moving forward. I mean... Interesting mixture of energy here this week. So let's see what, what the Hermit has to say. Then we will do a quick little recap before we get into the Shadow card. I mean, overall, I like it. And let's see. Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here? Thank you. Okay. So we have the King of Cups, a.k.a. Kyle of Cups himself without a beard. And he is drinking his goblet, but he is in reverse. That is what we do not want to see. Okay, now for a portion of you, you could still be in a time of healing when we have this alignment here on the back end. Okay, maybe, maybe you're not at this place of comfort that we see here in the center. When I get the Hermit with the King of Cups in reverse, this is somebody who is either trying to shroud how they truly feel about something, where it's like, well, you know what, I was pretty hurt by this, but I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to cause waves. I do feel like this is somebody that doesn't want to ruffle feathers and they don't want to make big waves here. 
Okay, um, whether that's you or somebody else. But when I see the King of Cups in reverse underneath the Hermit mode, the best thing I could think of is somebody who's like, they're hurt or they're still feeling something deeply and they're trying to heal it. They're trying to work through it. And that's OK. Everyone heals on different timelines. Everyone processes things on different timelines. Um, does it feel like the sky is falling? No, I'm not. I'm not picking up that energy. We're not getting ten of swords and towers here, but the hermit with the king of cups in reverse. If there's somebody who's acting a little withdrawn, a little mysterious, or there's someone you haven't heard from, they're going through their own stuff. That's a vibe I'm picking up here on the back end, and it's nothing to vilify this person about, but there's still some hard feelings that somebody's working through. Okay, so do with that information what you will. And for a portion of you, that just might be you too, right? Maybe there's something you're still working through and doing some self-reflection about. But let's go through and do a quick recap, then we'll get into the shadow card. I feel like this reading is mostly positive this week, my friend. So if you kindly look in the box, position number one, we have the High Priestess with the Hanged Man in reverse. So I did say this could be like an unexpected or surprising breakthrough coming in for you. Really, really nice type of energy. That or either someone's going to make a move that you don't see coming. Similar to what we saw last week, we see it in the front end of this where there could be things changing surprisingly. Moving to the center, we have the World card with the Ace of Cups in the upright. A lot of you do have a massive offer opportunity coming in. Okay, where it's like, okay, if I didn't go through this, then I couldn't have done this. Or from like, from a rough situation comes something really good. Okay, I, I like what I'm feeling here, and it feels like there's a gravity to it. There's a weight to it. On to the back end, we have the Hermit with the King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who's still in healing mode, and that's okay. They're doing it on their own time timetable. But there is someone who's working through some hard feelings right there on the back. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Um, but I'm also getting the vibe of someone where they don't want to cause waves, they don't want to ruffle feathers, they don't want to cause a scene or anything like that. They're just working through something. So we're just going to leave it at that. Yeah, please take a screenshot. Let's get you a shadow card here, Libra. Let's see what's in the shadows for my good Libra friends, please. The guides and spirit team, talk to me. What do we got? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see just yet. Um, and yeah, shadow cards don't always have to be a challenge. There could be good ones too. So what do we have in the shadows for Libra? Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll put a link for it in the comments below. It's a beautiful way to support the channel, and I have much love and appreciation for all my members. I really do. Let's get this shadow card going. What's happening for my friends? Thank you. Yeah, Two of Swords. So surprise, surprise, we have like more of these themes that we've been seeing for quite a while. Now, the Two of Swords could represent somebody who's being a little indecisive, but they don't know, quite know how to handle something. Um, similar to what we saw for you last week. I mean, I think the Two of Swords exactly was showing up in your reading last week. I don't necessarily feel like this is terrible. I think it's just reiterating to you, especially since this is the Shadow card, that there is something going on in the metamorphosis or the time you're going through right now where the unknowns need to be unknown for one reason or another. They need to stay unknown for the time being. But yeah, for a portion of you, you might just be in a space with the two of swords where it's like, all right, I'm not sure what I should do. I'm not sure how I should handle this. I'm not how I should work with this. It doesn't necessarily have to be terrible, though. Like I said, it could just be spirit reiterating like, hey, strap in, Libra. You got some unexpected things coming up, but. My friends, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the May subscriber surprise. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, you could check out my digital calendar at mastermetaphysics.com. But for the May subscriber surprise, we're doing a winner's choice this month, my friends. Two lucky subscribers will get their choice of either the Everyday Witch's Tarot, which is a wonderful deck. It's one of my favorites. Or you can choose a crystal pendant of your choice from my website. They're homemade. The energy is luscious. They're beautiful. So it's winner's choice there. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments where in the world you are from. You don't have to give me your home address or anything like that. It could be your country, state, province, whatever it might be. You'll be entered to win, and at the end of the month, the winners will be announced in my community tab. As always, my friends, much love, and I'll see you again soon.